Thank you to our sponsor, Legend of Softwash LLC. Welcome everyone. I uh, wanted to go over a couple things here real quick related to the software upgrade for the Equinox 7 and 900. Uh, they just put this out yesterday on the 13th. The email blast went out to all the registered users today sometime. Um, it's showing that there's going to be enhanced target separation performance. Enjoy enhanced target separation with the new iron bias minus one setting. This pushes target unmasking to new levels, giving users an aggressive target separation option for hunted out iron infested sites. Boy, that's me. Also, the second thing is continuous auto noise cancel, pressing and holding the accept reject button. With noise cancel selected in the settings menu, will continuously run noise cancel until the button is released. Running the noise cancel over a longer period improves the measurement of noise on each channel and can be captured and can capture noise sources that vary with time, giving the user the best possible noise re uh, rejection in challenging EMI environments. You know, you've seen a couple videos with me where I've had to turn my um, sensitivity down just to compensate. And, you know, where it's an iron infested area and there's electricity very close. Um, I'm hoping that's going to help. Um, you know, these actually these two things are going to help. Anyway, uh, it's pretty easy to update this. Um, you just go to, uh, the mind lab website to their download. You connect your detector using the magnetic cable, make sure that it's clean and securely connected. If you're getting the flashing light, don't forget, just take a regular pencil eraser and clean both contacts on the cable and on the unit. Um, make sure that your Equinox 700 is turned on during the update process. Run the update. Um, if there's an update available, um, it will, it will show it to you. We'll go back to this other screen. It gives a better example of how it looks. Once you download the, the software, uh, under number one, that's what your screen looks like. Once you connect and turn the unit on, you'll get this screen right here. And you just press install. If it's already up to date, it'll say, hey, quit. But obviously it's not going to be because you're looking for the newest version, which is 1.79.0-3.1. Once it installs, um, it'll tell you your device is up to date. But jumping ahead here, you'll see this screen. It'll say don't di disconnect or turn off your device. Make sure you do not turn your uh, unit off. It doesn't disconnect with the cable and your computer does not turn off. It says it takes four minutes. Mine went, it seemed like way quicker than that. Once that happens, you'll see it says installation complete and you can now disconnect your unit. And obviously you're going to press quit. If you need to restore it to the previous uh, version, um, it gives instructions down here um, under troubleshooting. So if you encounter an error during the update process, it's still recoverable. So no worries on that stuff right there. Um, it has a good FAQ to help you out with whatever. Again, um, you know, it's pretty easy. Just follow these steps. And believe me, if you've ever updated anything on your computer, you can update your Equinox. I wanted to go over that really quickly. Um, 
again, I'm sure there's going to be some videos out there on exactly how to do it, but I didn't want to get, bore you guys with that. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Update your machines. And we'll get a new video out to you here shortly. We've had a lot of rain in Florida. I'm sure it's been on the news. Uh, most of it was south of here where they were getting feet of rain flooding the streets and everything around Miami. Um, we've had a lot of thunderstorms and lightning. Uh, we have had a bunch of rain, um, but it's just hot and muggy right now. And I'll get out there as soon as I can. Um, which is probably going to be this weekend. Um, it's Friday right now, so I'm going to try to get out this weekend. I'm going to check the weather in the evenings. It's too hot to go out during the day. And I don't know how you guys feel, but I really don't like those night hunts unless you're finding ring after ring and watches and stuff like that because it just... It's just not the same because you can't see anything until, except in the ring of the light. But anyway, comment on that down below. Um, it, like I said, night hunts are great here because it's so nice and quiet and peaceful and not that many people on the beach. Um, but again, you know, you're literally walking in the dark. So I like to hunt during the day. Uh, it's just a personal preference, and that's about it, people. Let us know down in the comments what you think and what you want to see on the next video. Thank you.